Hi, my name is Grant Sanger. I'm a product development manager here at the Upper Deck Company, and I am here today to talk to you about the 2011 Goodwin Champions Animal Kingdom set. Uh, we've got a full 100 card set on display here, um, possibly one of the few full sets in existence today, and we're excited to show these beautiful cards off. Um, these cards have really taken to the collecting community and there's been some, uh, some good fervor and excitement on the secondary market as, as a lot of collectors are trying to piece together the full set. The 100 card set, it's broken down into several subsets based on the scarcity of the actual animals featured. Um, so you've got the first 59 cards, which the camera is panning across right now. Uh, all of these animals are categorized uh, as least concern. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a vibrant group of animals ranging from you know, snakes to frogs to bears to flamingos and eagles. And um, you know, for the collectors that are, uh, can't afford to chase uh, some of the scarcest cards here, this is a great beginning step into enjoying the Animal Kingdom set, because these cards really can be picked up for between $10 and $25 a piece in most cases. As the pan uh, camera pans up a little bit, you get into the next group, which is uh, categorized as not threatened. It's a small group, it's only six cards, uh, and it ranges from the American Bison to the Beluga Whale to the Sand Cat to the uh, Marquet, to the Giant Anteater, and the Okapi. Now the seating ratio on these cards moves up quite a bit. Overall, as a, as a group of 100 cards, these cards are found one in every 62 packs of Goodwin Champions. Um, but as the, as the cards go higher up in the checklist, numerically, they get scarcer. And uh, these not threatened cards are actually one in every 974 packs. Uh, and in general, these cards sell for around $25 to $40 each. The next group, starting with the Galapagos Tortoise, um, is, uh, they're all categorized as vulnerable. They're one in every 923 packs. And um, here's where sort of, sort of the secondary market activity is sort of starting to explode a little bit on these as you get scarcer. Uh, some of the superstar cards within the group are the uh, African Elephant and the African Lion, which sell for upwards of $100 each. The next group, uh, starting on, on the left here, is, uh, is the endangered group, starting with the North Island Brown Kiwi. Those are cards 76 through 91. And uh, in general, the, these cards are, are pretty scarce. So there's a lot of pretty fervent bidding uh, that we're seeing on sites like eBay and the secondary market as set builders are uh, sort of jumping on the opportunities as these cards surface. Uh, these opportunities are going to get scarcer and scarcer to actually track them down. We've seen uh, one of the, the key cards within this group is the Giant Panda, which the camera is going to just pan over here. Um, you know, when this product released a few months ago, you could pick up a Giant Panda card for about 40 or 50 bucks. We recently saw one sell for around $200. So uh, the, the market activity on these cards has moved up consistently uh, as more set collectors are try choosing to pursue this set. Uh, the next group up is... Um, the, the next row is actually some additional endangered cards with the Tasmania Devil, the African Wild Dog, uh, etc. That's the last handful of the endangered cards. The next row is critical animals. And these cards really have dried up almost completely on the secondary market. These are cards 92 through 97 in the checklist, and there we're showing you them in uh, numerical order. 92 is the Black Rhino, 93 is California Condor, etc. Uh, a couple of these cards we simply haven't seen in a long time, being the California Condor and the Spix's Macaw. Um, they were, you know, they popped up on eBay and uh, in the first week or so of the market or of the product releasing and sold for around. 50 to 80 dollars a piece and, and they've just dried up. In comparison, all these cards are as scarce as one another within their respective groups. The Western Gorilla that you're seeing there uh, recently sold for 380 dollars on eBay and that was a card that sold for 50, 60 bucks upon release. So these things have done nothing but go up as set builders kind of compete against each other to, complete, to build their set. The last row we have is the extinct and mythical uh, animals. So as you can see, card number 98 is the saber-toothed cat. Uh, card number 99 is the Chupacabra, which we had uh, had some fun picking that card out in the checklist. And uh, the last card in the set, card number 100, is the Dodo Bird. Uh, those cards, um, as a group, appear in every, one in every 14,613 packs. So suffice to say, they're pretty tough. And, um, you know, upon release, even these things, they sold for a lot of money upon release. We, we saw them sell for between $250 and $500 a card. But as the market really has exploded uh, and interest has exploded in these cards, we simply haven't seen them on the market in the past six or so weeks. So it would be interesting to see um, when additional copies do surface what they'll command. 
Uh, we do know some set builders that have compiled as many as you know, 94 of the 100 cards that are still working on their handful, the last handful of cards they need. Um, and we encourage them to you know, keep, keep looking. These cards are out there. Um, the sets are definitely uh, you know, able to, to you, can, you can complete them. There, there's no one-on-ones or anything crazy like that. Um, we wanted to build this to make it a good challenge for set builders, and, and we're excited about them. So thanks for your time. Appreciate it.